I wait until God takes me. Concerning the Bible, we'll, okay. we'll give time. Uh, Joshua ch time. chapter 2, uh, a least, a lesser famous story is uh, about Joshua and the spies that were sent in to Jericho. Then Joshua the son of Nun sent two men as spies secretly from Shittim, saying, Go view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came into the house of a harlot whose name was Rahab and lodged there told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, men from the sons of Israel have come here tonight to search out the land. And the king of Jericho sent word to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the land. But the woman had taken the two men and hidden them, and she said, Yes, the men came to me, but I did not know where they came from. And it came about that when it was time to shut the gate at dark, that the men went out. I do not know where the men went. Pursue them quickly, for you will overtake them. She had brought them up to the roof and hidden them in the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order on the roof. Now, can you describe what that would be like? The, the stalks of flax. I mean, huh? uh, it's an installation. So, kind of, she hid yes. them between the installation. Yes. Installation okay. because it's a hot place, and the roof under the roof you usually put some material. Okay, so to, to insulate. So she puts them in between. I bet they were itching like the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, otherwise, they would have died. So it's better this. <laughs> that doesn't stop for a while. That's right. Oh, I, I agree. So the men pursued them on the road to Jordan to the forge, and as soon as they were pursuing them, uh, as soon as those who were pursuing them had gone out, they shut the gate. Now before they lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that the terror of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land have melted away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you, before you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan, the Sihon and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. And we, when we heard it, our hearts melted, and no courage remained in any man any longer because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and on earth beneath. Now, therefore, please swear to me by the Lord, since I have dealt kindly with you, that you also will deal kindly with me in my father's household, and give me a pledge of truth and spare my father and my mother and my brothers and my sisters with all who belong to them and deliver our lives from death. So the men said to her, Our life for yours if you do not tell this business of ours. And it shall come about that when the Lord gives us the land that we will deal kindly and faithfully with you. Then she let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was on the city wall so that she was living on the wall. Yeah, right here. This, this spot here. Yeah. Outside by the tree. This is outside the wall, and here is the entrance. Maybe her house was part of the wall. And she said to them, Go to the hill country, lest the pursuers happen upon you, and hide yourselves there for three days until the pursuers return. Then afterward you may go on your way. The men said to her, We shall be free from this oath to you, which you have made us swear, unless when we come into the land you tie this cord of scarlet thread in the window to which you let us down and gather to yourself into the house your father and your mother and your brothers and all your father's household. And it shall come about that anyone who goes out of the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be on his head, and we shall be free. But anyone who is with you in the house, his blood shall be on your head, if a hand is laid on him. But if you tell this business of ours, then we shall free, we shall be free from the oath which you have made us swear. And a lot of uh, folks have associated that red scarlet thread with that... Uh, the blood and the um, uh, the salvation of, of Rahab, so to speak, and, and the, the cord of, of blood all the way to the cross, the, uh, the Old Testament. And she said, according to your word, so be it. So she sent them away, and they departed. And she tied the scarlet cord in the window. And they departed and came to the hill country and remained there for three days until the pursuers returned. Now the pursuers had sought them all along the road, but they had not found them. Then the two men returned and came down to the hill country and crossed over and came to Joshua the son of Nun, and they related to him all that had happened to them. And they said to Joshua, Surely the Lord has given all the land into our hands, and all the inhabitants of the land, moreover, have melted away before us. Then Joshua led the children of Israel to cross the Jordan River back there behind the, the Oasis, right. where, right. where Moses had not led them. You know, one of the misunderstandings is that Moses led the children of Israel in the Promised Land, but he did not. He died before that occurred. God didn't let him. There. 
and uh, grave which we, nobody knows. Yeah. Oh, and that is this Nebo? These are, yes. These are Nebo. The okay. These are the Nebo. So Moses somewhere there. Uh, died somewhere in there. If he died. If he died. I don't really know. Sure. The Bible says, and he died, and nobody yes, knew his grave. Couldn't find him. So he must have died. <laughs> All right, now the conquest of Joshua uh, in Jericho, chapter 6. Now, Jericho was tightly shut because of the sons of Israel. No one went out, no one came in. So the word had spread about the children of Israel. Some big time miracles with them, and they were. Friends, terrible. you are here. <laughs> See this? You are here. Alive. Bible is alive. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand with his king and his valiant warriors, and you shall march around the city, all the men of war, circling the city once. You shall do so for six days. So once a day, for six days, they march around. Also seven priests shall carry seven trumpets of ram horn, ram's horns before the ark. Then on the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. And it shall be that when they make a long blast with the ram's horns, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people will go up, every man straight ahead. That's a pretty big promise God has given the people, and obviously faith is involved in starting to walk around the town once a day, and then seven times on the final day. So Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, which represented the presence of God among the people. Let the priest carry seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. Then he said to the people, Go forward and march around the city, and let the armed men go on before the ark of the Lord. And it was so. And when Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Lord went forward and blew the trumpets, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests who blew the trumpets, and the rear guard came up after the ark while they continued to blow the trumpets. But Joshua commanded the people, saying, you shall not shout, nor let your voice be heard, nor let a word proceed out of your mouth until the day I tell you, shout, and then you shall shout. In other words, he was giving them the silent treatment so they would get the heebie-jeebies as they were walking around the, the city. Remember the heebie-jeebies we explained to you last time? <laughs> <laughs> and shake, you know, they were afraid. They, they kind of, it spooked like, the ones going to happen. It spooked them. They, uh, when they're walking people, around, they're, they're not saying around, anything. They're just silent. Uh, Give us the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, That's great. All right, so they so he had the ark of the Lord taken around the city, circling it once. Then they came into the camp and spent the night in the camp. Now Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. And the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets of ram's horns went before the ark of the Lord, went on continually and blew the trumpets. And the armed men went before them, and the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord while they continued to blow the trumpets. Thus the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. Then it came about on the seventh day that they rose early at the dawning of the day and marched around the city in the same manner seven times. Only on that day they marched around the city seven times. And it came about at the seventh time the priests blew the trumpets and Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. And the city shall be under the ban. It and all that it that belongs in it belongs to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot and all who are with her in the house shall live, because she hid the messengers whom we sent. But as for you, only keep yourselves from the things under the ban, lest you covet them and take some things under the ban, so that you would make the camp of Israel accursed and bring trouble on it. But all the, the silver and the gold and articles of bronze and iron are holy to the Lord. They shall go into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted, and the priests blew the trumpets, and it came about that when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, that the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down flat. So the people went up into the city, every man straight ahead, and they took the city. And they utterly destroyed everything in the city, both man and woman, young and old, oxen, sheep, and donkey, with the edge of the sword. Joshua said to the two men who had spied out the land, Now go into the harlot's house and bring the woman and all she has out of there, as you have sworn to her. So the young men who were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brothers and all she had. They also brought out all her relatives and placed them outside the camp of Israel. And then they burned the city with fire and all that was in it. Only the silver and gold and articles of bronze and iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. However, Rahab the harlot in her father's household and all she had, Joshua spared. And she has lived in the midst of Israel to this day. For she hid the messengers whom Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. 
Then Joshua made them take an oath at that time, saying, Curse it before the Lord is the man who rises up and builds this city Jericho. With the loss of his firstborn, he shall lay its foundation. And with the loss, with the loss of its youngest, he shall set up his gate. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was in all the land. This is why it's not restored. It's not restored. The city out. The road from the north that we came down. <laughs> 